Nokia has the good one. What are the Has anybody been crashing this thing? Is it exciting? I'm going to find this one. Alex here, welcome back to the channel. I am joined here with Marek Polsak from XTOL. How you doing, man? I'm great, how are you? So great, a pleasure to meet you. This guy's the CEO of this insanely high-tech virtual reality headset that I just had the opportunity to try. Thanks so much for being here and setting all this up. Thank you, thank you for trying out. Let me know, what did you enjoy? I enjoyed the crystal clear resolution of this bad boy. I enjoyed the, the field of view, but maybe you can give us a little bit more on the specifics of what's happening inside that That's thing. That's wonderful because those two are actually my main thing. I mean, combining high resolution, like capability to literally read anything inside the VR as in the real world, together with wide field of view, for me means immersion. And I've been chasing it from the first day when I established this company. I mean, it's 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 got to be honest. It's impressive. I mean, this is looking like some some futuristic stuff. I mean, that thing is attached to this huge, awesome uh, helmet. I mean, what was uh, what were you imagining as far as like the software and experiences when developing this headset? The the issue in general, I would say, when you are targeting this high quality, is at the end the performance, right? Because when you are pushing in, now we are pushing in 4K per eye. You have to do a lot of adjustments. We work closely with uh, NVIDIA to make it smooth with AMD uh, to balance everything. But with this version in here, totally connected all over, even uh, uh, running through Steam VR, embedded into the helmet. So you don't feel, literally, you don't feel a thing when you put on the helmet. You're totally immersed. You feel like in the airplane. The weight is, is distributed. You can sit in hours. Time just fly by. Uh, my demo flew by like that. It, that is definitely the coolest flight simu like any simulating virtual reality thing I've ever done. I had the joystick between my legs. I'm cruising around doing flips in this thing. How's the uh, reception been on the floor so far? It's great. It's actually great. I'm so happy that we came here. That we managed to build this thing here because you are looking at thousands uh, of, of kilos of material that had to be had to be installed here but it's totally worth it and actually the way why we build this here is that a lot of our clients are using it for training for pilot training a lot for example US Air Force uh, US Navy never and normal people don't get opportunity to get into these facilities and to uh, really experience what the VR, the top high-end VR is look like. So that's what we wanted to bring to this show. And I feel very privileged and honored to be here to be able to have the opportunity to try this at CES 2020. If, if somebody watching had the, uh, is interested and maybe wants to get an opportunity to put one of these on and take it for a spin, are, are there going to be any opportunities for, for a casual consumer to test it out? Uh, like we are uh, presenting on different shows. Uh, for example, one of my favorites is AWE. Uh, from time to time, uh, GTC by NVIDIA, uh, and there are a few other like worldwide events. Uh, also, for example, VR Days in Amsterdam, uh, a few more going on. Uh, also, if someone wants, they can actually buy the headset, even though it's, it aims for professionals, for enterprises, businesses. You can buy it, it's just more expensive, that's all. And tell the folks at home just how much more expensive. Uh, this version, the latest version, 4K per eye, $7,890. Just a casual $7,890. Go out and pick yourself up an X-Town. I don't know what you're waiting for. It's the best that VR has to offer right now. <laughs> I love it. All right, well, Marek, I got to say, it's been an honor and a pleasure, man. Thank you so much for giving me the opportunity to try this headset. And uh, I'm looking forward to seeing what else you guys are doing. Thank you for trying out. I appreciate it. Of course. We'll see you guys soon.